CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. There's an outpouring of support tonight for Janice Hedroff, and there is anger and disgust at the province over its health care policy. CTV Vancouver Island broke the news last night that provincial health care coverage will not cover Janice after all she has done and all of the millions of dollars she has raised to help others. Janice needs an operation that could leave her unable to walk, and she wants a second opinion from the specialists at the world-renowned Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. But that trip isn't covered under the health care coverage. CTV Stephanie Sherlock has more exclusive details tonight about the people who have stepped up who are willing to pay. Like one million dollars. She is devoted to raising money for those in need. We are inspired by Janice with every interaction we've ever had with her. Raising millions of dollars and opening Janice Place, a place to stay for families from out of town whose children are in hospital here. Personally, from the effect that we've had, that, that this is being able to stay here has had on my family, it's, it's unimaginable what um, what we would have, I, I can't think of what we would have had to do. An upcoming operation could leave Janice Edroff paralyzed and she wants a second opinion from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. It would be way better for me to go there in a sense because they know these tumors, they know the condition better than they do children here. Provincial health officials say their hands are tied. We, we haven't yet heard from her specialist in terms of what kind of support she needs if she goes out of province. So we're waiting to hear that. Since our story aired, many people have contacted CTV to see how they could help someone who has helped so many. Well, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to cover off the cost for Janice and her family to travel down to the Mayo Clinic. Learning the news while coming back from Children's Hospital in Vancouver, Janice is delighted. Just thank you so much. That's absolutely incredible and I'm speechless. With offers of support pouring in from all directions, the pressure is on the province to pony up. We're doing uh, families first. Is that our province, is it? If we can help and support in this, we absolutely will. Janice has made a huge contribution, not just to our, our province, but to our entire country, and I think we owe her that. The Mayo Clinic says it's following Janice's story with interest, but it can't comment on what costs might look like as each case is different. Janice has one more test before she can make her Mayo Clinic plans. Can we one more week at that test and hopefully then I'll be able to get some answers. From the doctors okay. and the province. And Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live with more. Stephanie, since we broke this story last night, we have been flooded with offers and, and feedback from people, uh, people who want to help. Janice, uh, tell us about them and tell us more about Golf for Kids. Absolutely. Golf for Kids is a fundraiser that originally was put on as a, an appreciation event for clients of an environmental company here in town. And Dale Douglas and his partner decided a few years back, probably 13 years back, they would donate money to children's charities. So Janice had been out there and she had helped them before they met her. When she was six for the first time two years ago she came into the ceremonial putt off at their tournament so um, they were honestly the first people that called us yesterday uh, probably about five after five when our story was just finished airing to offer their support so they're happy to do that um, again he's already been in contact with Janice and her mom to let them know that uh, that that offer is there and stands w several other offers have come in to the tune of just about as much as well lots of people want to cover it I know that tomorrow morning Janice is going to be in studio with our friends up at cool FM a listener of theirs and wants to help and to encourage others to help as well so but I can say as well I did speak to Janice this afternoon and um, they are going to wait a little bit they're going to have this test they're going to see what happens they're going to see if the province ponies up and then uh, after that they'll make their decision of how they're going to get down there and, and, and Stephanie I think it's important that, that people know that Janice and her family do not want nor do they expect uh, any special treatment there is policy here but if, if the rationale is that the, the, the system won't pay for experimental treatment uh, it's kind of a moot point isn't it it absolutely is and you know Janice is getting to be a little bit disillusioned with the medical system now that she's 18 she's had to wait a lot longer for surgeries and appointments and this particular thing if the province won't pay for to get a second opinion in the United States when they offer that here. That's all there is to it. So we're hoping to see some changes because, like you said, they aren't the only ones who've fallen into this sort of catch-22, and they're hoping that a light is now shone on this part of our health care system. All right, we'll stay on the story. Stephanie, thank you. You're welcome.